Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, we uh, got my Enduro 40 all cleaned up and I got it all core sealed, painted, new fuel hoses, cleaned out the sediment bowl, did a test run, runs great. I'm just waiting for the weather to break so I can take it and put it on the back of that bay runner and get out there and give it a run. You understand. So, while we're waiting on that weather, we got another one. A lot like the other one. In my last video, I parted out a night and 83 Evan Rude 25 horsepower that was seized up locked up by the bottom pistionis your honestness so what I'm fixing to show you here is a real shame let's look Oh, what a beautiful specimonus. 25 Yammy two stroke. there I'm gonna try and tap on it see if I can get any movement but it's been under the ocean it's been under the ocean I got some places I might be able to tap right there let me get my little hammers and this guy here but where are you at in this picture? Yeah. It's such a shame. I don't think she's going to move. I think it's just like the other one. I have sprayed some stuff down in there. But just like the other one, she stuck, been under the ocean. No movement to speak of. Just solid stuck. Hey, I'm out of a few things and I need to uh, run out to the commissary and pick up a few things. And uh, since I'm going, I thought, you know, I don't remember if I've ever filmed any of the country's largest U.S. Coast Guard base um, and put on my channel. So, I got to go out there anyway and pick up a few things at the commissary and so I thought... Uh, 
why don't I take you guys along with me and give you a little tour out there and just give you a quick look at that. So, what do you say? Want to go with me? Let's go. I'm out here at the Coast Guard base in Kodiak. Filming some of the cutters and then we got a seal right over there cruising along in the water. And there he goes. I think that's the Co U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Spar. And this one right here is the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Alex Haley. Not much happening out here today. That's the auto hobby shop. Active duty, reserve, and retirees can go in there and work on their cars in a heated spot. They got two or three lifts in there. That building right there is called the Crab Cooker. You can go in there if you catch your crab, your halibut, salmon, whatever. Go in there, they got nice stainless steel tables with hoses and drains in the floors and you can clean your fish. And right there is a boat launch and they put docks, they've already taken them out but you can see the poles there. They put docks there and uh, enlisted people, retirees and what can put their boat there for the whole summer. It's on a first come, first serve basis. That's our commissary exchange, whatever you want to call it, PX. Little grocery store in there, that's where we get our groceries and so forth. Saves a lot of money over the downtown area. So that's handy. That's what I'm doing out here today. I just went shopping and got a bunch of groceries. Just thought I'd give you a little tour. You can see the Hilo hangers and the C-130 hangers over there. That one right there is a helicopter hangar where the Coast Guard works on, stores some of their helos. And uh, over there is the C-130 hangar where they take care of some of the C-130s. One of them, they got two C-130 hangars. Right here is the enlisted barracks. It's where the enlisted people who are stationed on the base and so forth stay. Right there is the galley where they go to eat their meals. And on the other side of that is the gym. That's the boathouse. That's where they rent the morale boats. They got really nice Parker skiffs here. Got little cabins on them and all. They're about 25 foot long. You can buy bait in there. You can, uh, they have vacuum sealers in there where you can vacuum your catch after you get done at the crab cooker, cleaning it all. You can come over here and for a small fee, vacuum seal it and all that, really handy. And then, here is the base movie theater. For like two bucks you can go in there and watch a movie and they have popcorn and different flavor seasonings all. It's pretty neat. Right there is the gym. And it's got a complete gym in there and you can see the glass building there that comes over into this area here. And that big building there is an indoor swimming pool. You can go in there and swim downstairs in the gym you can take a hot sauna they got a sauna room a full weight room just about everything you could imagine for health and wellness is in there here's some of the c-130 that's where i was told they put nitrogen in some tanks right there now
been around here since this was a Navy base. I guess it's the oldest building on the base, the churches. There's housing up in there. It. Got to take off that. Yeah. Okay, gas get, get out of my way. Gas get. It's two, huh? little rust in there not super bad but definitely been in some salty water hmm. and let's look at that crank full of rust full of rust Little more rust. Yeah. She's just stuck as they could be. Look at that, even the, the top bearing and seals froze on it. It's weird that that Woodruff key for the uh, flywheel is gone. That just tells me that somebody's been in there before. Uh, yeah. Take my hammer, try and hammer that out. Or, but you can see all the rust. Oh, sorry about that. I was trying to do something else. You can see all the rust all over everything, so. She's been in the salt water. All the barrens are froze. She's seized up tight. And uh, that's just the way that goes. She is seized up tight.
have the Baron and Seal, they do roll. Not so much on this end. The bearings. Sad, sad, sad. But I got some good parts. You see that bear in there? It's completely seized. You can see all the rust all up and through there. Center bearing's gonna move though. But only if I can hammer them pistons out of there. You can't undo the uh, rod ends on these are one piece you gotta jig them out press them out so being that it shot anyway I'll give her a couple whacks see if I can move them pistons at all Well, well, well. A little bit of scoring, I'd say. A little bit of rust. And a whole lot of scoring. And pretty much everything is froze. Can't even get this one to move on the on its journal. Oh, there's the other piece of that. I knew there was a piece missing. Um, well, sometimes that's how it goes. That goes out. This bearing right here won't even budge. 
So, there ain't nothing. I wouldn't use reuse the rings or nothing. That one's stuck in there. This one will at least move on the journal. This one won't. Now let's look in them cylinder airs. Yeah, um, that was not going to ever unseize. So I got some scrap aluminium with a good exhaust cover plate. I'll throw this in the bone pile. There's, can still use that. Not much else, so and I might even zip that off. There ain't nothing else really usable on it. So, put that in my bag. There's my bag. Make sure that one in the bag. And just so I know that I'm using the right size, if I'm using a junker, I'll put that piece of that friction bearing on there. So, there she is, and I have, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have use for that tiller handle set up on this motor, and even though it'll be a little short, I think it'll work, and it's going to end up on a 40 Enduro, not that 40 Enduro. Not that one. I was gifted another one, which I would take you out and show you. I was actually gifted two outboards in the last week. And one of them was a 40 Enduro Yamaha with a completely broken tiller bracket. Um, but I, and I'm not sure what kind of shift it's got on it, but if it's got the forward shift, well, even if it don't, I can probably make this one work since it's in good shape. But, the old Yamaha 25 had to give up them goats. Just wasn't enough left. It's name. That tune. So many people. My family of friends. Trying so hard to make me smile until this heartache mends. So many people, my family of friends, trying so hard to make me smile until this heartache mends. Name, dead, doom. Well, it's starting. A little bit of snow. Little bit, not a lot. But it's starting. Fred, you got white on your head. That's not a nice thing, thing to be saying there, Fred. Do your job, suck it up, buddy. Suck it up, buddy. He's pretty miserable right now. Yeah, anytime old Fred get the white on his head like that, ooh, he cranky. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of the white stuff. Yucky. Well now, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. That old Yamiha went too far down to Davy and said, here I am. And the owner, who is a commercial fisherman, I'll leave that there. Uh, yeah. So that power head was shot, 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 but lots of good parts. I'm hoping I can use the tiller bracket on another motor I have, kill switch, gear shift, lower unit. Well, heck, the whole thing, other than the power heads, like a 2006. It's Pristine, real good, real good stuff. So I might hold off on this one and just wait until I get a 25, 2025 20, power head and I can 
put this one back in service because everything else on it is really good. So, and I thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And that's going to be one more hack from Cody Yak. Bye. Now make sure you subscribe to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass.